So, hey guys, Chaos are here, and it's going to be my nav level 1, 2, 3, or 123 uh, playthrough against treasure map who's who. And I ended up doing more navs than I thought. I thought I'd end up a bit over 100, but I kind of got into the groove after work yesterday and today. So I managed to play more than I expected, but now, I'm, now my motivation is starting to drop. So I'm like, yeah, let's call it quits here. I'll do this nav level when I wake up tomorrow. I'll play a bit more to get to the next bonus map. And yeah, we basically call it a day there at like 125 or something that should be okay. So yeah, I've not made many changes. I've been happy though that my intrusion team still works. It's a bit scuffed, but it is max points. Uh, sadly, the max points didn't help me get top 100 this time. And I brought this up earlier in videos. I'm a bit annoyed by that. This should have been a free top 100 for me. I will have been able to do at least 50 more now levels during the weekend. They will have definitely secured it. And this is just me just pointing out that the maintenance had actual consequences here. I'm getting less reward. I'm getting less limit break materials. Yeah, the whole shebang basically. And I'm not pleased at all. And yeah, when I try to follow Twitter, like I'm not a very social media kind of guy, I'm not going to lie. Especially when it comes to the JP side. I don't really know where to look to get a feel of things. Uh, one thing I check is the JP content creators and yeah, they made like one video each about uh, the game coming back and all of that, but they haven't really made a fuss about that anymore. Uh, not really unexpected, the JP players don't really uh, go on and on about things like this, but also on Twitter like... Uh, the official accounts haven't made any posts since the uh, confirmation that the game is coming back. And that's definitely deliberate because if they kept making posts, people could just spam the Twitter replies about potential refunds of Treasure Map Suga and such. But like when they don't do any new posts, that kind of dies down. And like on global, we know that people are very persistent, they keep going. But I can imagine on JP, like in a few days, if they make a post about Kisuna Chopper or the Boa Sugo or whatever, it's going to be, be pretty dead, like when Trash Map is over and such. So, yeah, it feels like, like a balloon just popped and the air just went out, nothing more happening. We just have to move on but I'll retain what I said earlier this doesn't create any goodwill to say the least so I'm just skeptical especially on the global side like will this decision even make money due to loss of goodwill like we have all these very hard grinding players Many of them might already be pretty unhappy with the game. And now they feel harshly done by once again for many. That might be the last straw. So, yeah, I'm not sure. And then there's always split opinions, of course. I know many think the conversation was fine. Many think it's not. So, yeah. It is a bit weird because Bana can make bad decisions that are way less uh, disrupting to people. But then it's like the biggest storm ever on social media, like Twitter, Reddit and everything. And then here we have a legit issue and a lot of the player base are kind of sweeping it under the rug, I can feel. So, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I'm kind of the same, so I shouldn't point fingers. 
uh, I probably won't keep going on about it either, and I definitely don't spam social social media. But yeah, I feel just a bit confuzzled, I guess, when you see people go on and on about things that feels pretty irrelevant, but then let it issues like this kind of drops off. Anyway, as you can see, I'm battling some on level one here, and this is just to make buggy teams reliable. And yeah, this is just to optimize limit break materials. I've been pretty clear with my messaging, like for treasure map, it's all about optimizing the limit break materials I get. That's why I always start with skipping invasion nowadays, because they don't really give extra limit break materials. Like Intrusion has one guaranteed limit break material drop. But by skipping it, you save several minutes and you can probably get more runs done. More runs equals more bonus maps. More bonus maps equals more limit break materials and tickets. And tickets are basically limit break materials in the end. So, yeah. And I'm in a pretty good position limit material wise. Like uh, two months ago, it was pretty dire. And when I say dire, it's probably not what most of you think of as dire for me. Dire is when my crystals start dropping into below the 1000s. That's low for me. And it's not like I'm high above 1000s. Like after the treasure map reward, I'll probably get to like 1. 1,300, 400, something like that. Which is a lot for most people, but I just like having a buffer. It feels good. And I always, I also have a buffer in keys, gold keys, silver keys and all of that. So I know that I can always use them if I really want to. But yes, you guys know, in, in the case of gold keys... My focus right now is on old legends getting limit break materials. It's very rare that I limit break expand new legends. The last one I considered limit break expanding, and I might in the future, is the... Uh, what are they called again? Well, they are called Kada, but I prefer, prefer to say the Scabbard legend. Well, most because they have a really broken final tap. So... Yeah, you kind of want to optimize being able to use them. But I don't know. I'm not as gung-ho limit expanding the newest stuff anymore when all you get are some extra stats and minus one CD. But yeah, the run is going pretty well. Like The muscle memory is really set in. I'm barely thinking about the run. Like, I often get comments about grinding, and I want to point out that I'm by no means one of the big farmers of the game. Like here, for example, I have max boost. I've done 123 nav levels. Sure, I skipped invasion for maybe the first 50 or something. But still, there's a lot of people playing even more than me. And sure, I can do even more if I want to, but yeah, I don't really take go all out every month so but yet the easiest way to be able to grind a lot is to get into the make things automatic you don't need to expand any brain power about it like when i've been playing it today for example after work i've just been watching some reality tv show at the same time and i barely think about playing because now I use this team for so long, I know how they work. There's really nothing special going on, so. But yeah, the best play way to play TM is just not think about it, really. And it's, for me, it's not unique to open the sea. Before open the sea, I was playing Fe, Fire Emblem Heroes. And there's uh, some farming you can do that in that game as well. I think it was called... Is it HM farm? I don't remember so long. But basically you can farm the same content over and over. And you can rack up some materials. Feathers is called. That you can use to improve your units. And 
I was a real beast at, at that. For a while, I was the player on at least the Discord community that uh, had farmed the most out of everybody. And people thought I was pretty crazy. So, But yeah, that was the same thing. It's brainless. You do something else while farming. But I pretty enjoy this trash map, to be honest. Uh, Yimbei not being as good as it should have been have made things more annoying. I, I stand by. Yimbei should do both an attack boost and chain boundary with his special. I don't know why it's so weak. No reason for that. So yeah, I've said it many times. Very cool legend, but very underwhelming as well in terms of real life usage but yeah tomorrow we're getting the boa sugo i'll be doing five multis i guess possibly less definitely not more i'd say and we just pray the annoying thing with new legend kisna sugos is that there are literally zero guarantees uh, there's no new character step like otherwise on kisuna but there is uh, recommend a step but one of the recommender will be the old Monet rare recruit so good chance you get her and if that happens well you might be screwed so yeah just have to pray a bit I hope for some shopper dupes as well for level limit break but yeah that's my playthrough I got close to top 100 but I can't play tomorrow I have work so we're going to settle for this so yeah Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.